Welcome to the Legacy Channel and thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video, check out the channel, and see what the Legacy Recorder is all about. The following interview was originally a Facebook live stream. It has been edited. One thing I couldn't fix was the quality of sound. So we were live streaming in the local co-work where I live and the tile and the way things echoed just made the sound a little less than stellar. Let's put it that way. With that being said, it doesn't impact the quality of the interview and the incredible guest, Trista Scholes pappas that I had on with me. She's a local photographer. She's amazing. And she works with families to help them capture their everyday moments and record memories together. So I hope that you enjoy the interview. If you have any questions at all, feel free to put them in the comments and I will get back, back to you ASAP. Collaborated on a couple of things and I'm really excited to have her on today to talk with you about photography and documenting everyday moments and remembering to make those things more permanent in our lives beyond just sharing them on Facebook, posting them to Instagram and creating things like legacies that will endure past when, you know, sometime when the electricity gets shut off. <laughs> when the lights go out. When the lights go out. Um, so thank you so much for joining in. And I'm going to turn it over to Trista to give her an opportunity to introduce herself. So welcome. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So, um, so, <laughs> so would you like to take a moment to tell people who you are and that sort of thing? Yes. So my name is Trista Scholes Pappas. I am a photographer in Butler, Pennsylvania. So my husband and I live here with our daughter, Lyric, and he's a musician. I do photography. It's a lot of fun. I'm here because we want to discuss the importance of documenting our lives through photograph. And I guess, should I say my website? Probably, yes. You can catch me at www.tristareneephotography.com. And her Instagram feed is really pretty. Oh, <laughs> so, and her stories are fun. So if you're following her over there, you should be watching her story. Jumping into topics, why do you think it's important for families to take pictures of everyone in the family, not just the ones that are in front of the camera? This is close to my heart because obviously I am a parent, and sometimes being behind the camera, uh, I get lost out of the photos. Not that that's like a problem for me because I like to take the pictures. But also, we want to make sure that we're in them um, so our children can see us when we're older and we're like, and how much when fun we, we were. When we were cute, right? Yes. <laughs> when we were cute. We look like this. <laughs> no, but seriously, yeah. 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 Yeah you're a mom, you're a dad, you're an aunt, you're a caregiver, make sure you're passing the camera, the phone camera around. Christmas time, I'm like rarely in any of the pictures because right. we just don't take the time to do that. But luckily, obviously, they're just like, use it, use it. <laughs> so if you don't have people in your family who are confident with whipping out their phone and taking a picture of you with your kids or with your dog or your spouse or whatever it might be, use the selfie cam. Your picture can do selfies. And there's, um, I think societally, there's a huge stigma around taking selfies. And I've been practicing taking selfies because for the span of about five years, there aren't a whole lot of pictures of me floating around anywhere. And we want pictures of me. And we want pictures of me, you know, because who wouldn't? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so um, take the time to uh, take pictures of yourself and ask for help. There are people around you who want to see your face. Yes. Now and later. Totally. Dads, this one is for you. Like, just when when she's not looking in those precious moments, just take your phone out for one second and snap that picture, you know? I do this to my husband all the time. He hates it. Tom, I probably drive him insane. But you know what? I, some of my favorite photos are just taken on my phone when they're just, like, cuddling on the couch, watching Netflix. That's stuff to cherish, and, and you just want to make sure you capture that. Someday, your kids are going to want to see that. Their kids are going to want to see that. They're going to want to know what their pat pat looks like. So I actually have a yeah. picture of, um, there's a picture of my dad 
and my brother and my bro I think my brother's probably around two and they're or like younger and they're together <laughs> on the couch and my dad's like propped up in the corner and my brother's like laying upright on him and it was just the cutest photo and that was a picture that stuck out for me um later so then when my husband was asleep I have so many pictures of Shane and my kids asleep together that's awesome because of that one picture yeah. that my mom took the time to take while they were sleeping so thanks mom right it's totally. created a, a picture taking tradition so I make sure I have a picture of each kid with Shane asleep yeah it's <laughs> Also important, okay, let's say you're, not everybody is a parent, totally, listen, you need to make sure you're doing this with your friends and the rest of your family members too, because someday you're going to want a picture of them when they go, you just are. So I know it's like, I'm the person that is always taking pictures and I'm sure my friends get really annoyed by it, but Probably. I want to <laughs> see your face forever, yes. you know? Yes. And, and print them. So let's get into that part. Yeah. So let's talk about um, in the digital age, because we're all digital now and everything gets, you know, we take it on our phones and we never make it to Walmart or Walgreens or wherever. Why, how important do you think is it for people to get prints of their photos? Extremely important. It's imperative that you guys are printing your picture. I don't care if it's Polaroids. There's lots of new Polaroid options <laughs> out there. Go get yourself one. Less than Seriously, go. <laughs> do it. Another thing is we have all these clouds, right? Everybody's yes. uploading their 13,000 photos, their whole lives. Right. It's awesome. It's great storage space. Use it. But you need to be printing your favorite moments, keeping them in books, keeping them in an album, putting them on your wall. This is stuff that your, your family wants to see of you. Hopefully you're, again, taking pictures with you in it. We want that. Down the road, people are going to need these things. Video, too. Same thing goes with video. Put that, not only back it up on the cloud, but back it up on your computer, on an external hard drive, on USB, on a disk if you still use that. I mean, seriously, that way it doesn't get lost. So off screen, you gave a very specific example, or a very specific, I, mean, I use the word protocol to have the backups. And you mentioned three. Do you want to explain that? Triple backup. So yeah, you have the cloud. Most of us have iPhone or maybe you use Google Pictures. Um, put it on the cloud, but then also download it to your lap, laptop, download it to your PC. So that's number two. Number three, external hard drive. Get yourself an external hard drive. Get yourself some USB flash drives. And then of course, the ultimate is to print. Right. Get them printed. It doesn't have to cost you a ton of money. There are many options out there that are budget friendly to get them on your walls, get them in a book. It's a great gift option too. Right. Like we started taking uh, images from your every year. Yeah. Or like our favorite moments of 2018, we did a book and right. we gave them to everyone as a Christmas present. And it was really great. It was fun. People got to go through stuff that they weren't there for. Um, and we got to share it with each other. And it was really nice. And that's something that you can hold on to for a very long time. So that's um, so that leads really well into um, a story I want to share is the fact that um, if you've been if you've been following anything with Legacy, you know that my dad passed away um, about 13 years ago. And one of the things that I'm really thankful for is that as a family, we had a an abundance of pictures. Partly because my mom was really good about taking pictures of us and um, there's lots of pictures of my dad um, but you know looking back and looking through the photos there are not a lot of pictures of my mom which is something that um, she's working on fixing so she's totally upped her selfie game and there's lots of pictures of her and her friends now um, but something that my uncle did is that he made sure we were taking photos at every family so uncle bob thank you so much for taking the time to do that while i was growing up and you know continuing to do that for our family. Yeah, Bob. <laughs> yeah, Bob. So um, it was so, it was for me, it was really nice when I was um, having to put together things for my dad's death and his um, memorial service and the fact that we had so many photos to choose from um, and to remember him with and all of the things that um, we, I can show my kids now 
um, that made a huge difference of having those pictures and made the um, made the grief process for me um, not necessarily easier, but it made processing a little different than maybe if I hadn't had any photos of him. And it's made it so that I can create books for my children, which I have a couple books just of pictures of my dad. Um, and we went we went to Ireland with the children. Um, I my, I went with my mom and my mother in law and my three kids. And we went to Ireland together and we went around and we saw all the families and at each family home of my, the siblings of my dad, we made, I made sure to get group shots with everyone who was in the house with the kids in the photos so that there, those are the pictures that are in these books so that when Maura and Aiden and Megan are looking at the pictures, I can um, point, out to my, point out my uncle Michael and say that that's my dad's brother and I can show the familial resemblance and my cousins are in the pictures. And um, that was just a really neat way to have pictures of my dad in the book and then also be able to include pictures of his family with his grandchildren. That's awesome. Yeah. You go. Yay. So do you, um, how do you think people should be preparing for that eventuality of someone dying? In so it's just like little things that you can do in your daily lives and just frequently checking in with the pictures that you are taking, the videos that you are taking. I mean, even like those boomerangs. Yeah. Those are boomerangs so fun. Are fun. <laughs> Someday, like, I would like to compile like a little video of just like your favorite boomerangs. But um, if you have an iPhone, an easy way to do this is with, um, in, in the Photos app, there are creations of memories. So it does this for you. And this is, this is just on iPhone. Yeah. This is not like an ad for iPhone, but right. just in my experience, this has been something I use. I don't, you know, I'm busy, we're all busy, right? But I know that, oh, there's something that I want to make sure that I have a video of or like a slideshow. Um, so every like major holiday I'll go through or even for my friends. Like right. It's, when it's their birthday, <laughs> yes. I like to compile my favorite pictures of them and us together. And it's something that you should be saving, not only to the cloud, but again, backing that up too. You can put it on a flash drive for them. It's just a lot of fun and easy. You don't have to compile these pictures yourself. Your phone is right. doing that for you. So I don't know if a lot of people really use this. I do. I think you probably should. Um, another thing, again, is just printing your images as much as possible. There's a lot of services out there um, that you can do like a monthly subscription now, which is super right. cool, where they just take your Instagram photos and send you a book every month. Right. There's those, and um, I know Mixed Tiles is pretty cool. That's an easy way to um, get prints of photos to go on the wall that are like ready. Um, and I'll put a, I've been curating and compiling a list of all of these different things that can help you preserve these photos. And I'll be um, at some point putting a link to that resource in the comments of this video. Um, but yeah, so is there anything else that you want to share that we talked about? Yeah, general? I mean, just in general, like when, when you document your life for photography and even video, it's really cool for people down the road because someday we're not gonna all be here. And you want to have those memories. And the cool thing about a photograph is that you can almost hear the person talking or laughing or crying even yeah. when you look at it. And that's why I love what I do because I feel like I basically document you right, right now as you are. And that's like super important. Just found so much joy in that. And, and meeting new people and getting to know their lives and it's a way that we can share that with each right. other obviously we do it every day now with social media but i don't know if we sit back and think about it really so off screen you shared a story about um someone in your dad's family being really good about taking photos yeah um, i'm not sure who it was i'll have to ask you dad but like there's a lot of little polaroids and little printed pictures of them when he was a kid like I remember one specifically where his arm was broken, I think, and it was from his friends. Like, they must have got into trouble, but you could just see the grin, and like, you could almost hear, like, maybe what he and his friend were talking about and, and going through at that moment. Just really cool. Um, but 
of course, that wasn't in the digital age. So right. everything was physical. You were printing it. Right. Right. Printing or drawing or painting. Mm -hmm. So it is important, though, like, I think digital media is so cool to be able to instantly share these nods right. with each other is such like a interesting way to like get to know people that you maybe wouldn't have before. But I'm definitely like a huge advocate for at least printing your favorite stuff as right. much as you can. And obviously you know, you're a good photographer. Yes. You have to be me. <laughs> no, there's a you... million <laughs> wonderful talented people like do that for yourself, for your family, like at least once a year. You know, maybe it's the holidays that is the time when everybody can get together right. and you can get a nice photo for yourself and your family members to print. Maybe it's summertime and you want to go outside and have fun. Um, but definitely, definitely, definitely find yourself someone that you relate to that will help you document your life. So thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for tuning in. If you were live with us this whole time and hung out, we really appreciate it. If you have any questions for Trista, put them in the comments and she'll circle back later and answer anything you guys come up with. If you happen to be watching the replay somewhere or listening to the replay somewhere, thanks for listening to the replay. And the same thing goes for you. If you have questions, I'll make sure they get to Trista. So thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Legacy After Dark, Not After Dark. And I will see you on the next episode for sure. And in the meantime, happy writing. You've been watching an episode of The Legacy Lady talking possibly legacy after dark. And this is it. This is the end of the video. I would love if you would subscribe and even better, share this video with someone you love. I will see you on the next video. And in the meantime, happy writing.